Well, hello, friends and followers. Here's some more commentary on the Yesu FT-201. I'm slowly getting this radio back together. I am waiting for some N-channel JFETs for the preamplifier, two of those. They're like 20 bucks for two of those on eBay. The guy knows that they're used in this radio, and he, he marks them up accordingly. At any rate, I'm, I, I put the final cage back together. Didn't really neutralize anything, but I'm on 20 meters here now, and this thing puts out some juice. So it's really, I have to calibrate this knob. It's really sensitive in where the loading is, and you can move this only by a few degrees, and it gets all screwed up. The drive is also rather sensitive. The pre-select works reasonably. You pick the pre-select for the best drive, and then you can use the drive to figure out how much current to give the final and how much power to put out, and then tweak the loading. This plate dipping or power output is very broad compared to the Drakes I'm used to working on. It, it's, it's a real broad kind of thing. Well, this thing does have a, um, a gear reduction mechanism. Maybe that's why it seems broad, but not what I'm used to. Anyway, this thing puts some juice out, so you hit this mon mox button here to uh, transmit, and this is the uh, two kilowatt matching box that I bought in case I ever get my amplifier to work. And I'm going out to the antenna. I'm on a 200 watt scale. So 200 watts is a lower scale there, and uh, this thing, uh, it delivers on 20 meters. That's a 200 watt carrier. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure you can get that on uh, the other bands, but 200 watts on 20 meters, that's like a 3 dB gain, I guess 100 watts. So I'm pretty happy with that. And of course, when you tune this thing, you want to run it, I, I guess I keep reading, at least Mal says you want to run this thing 10 seconds max and then let it cool off for 15 seconds to conserve your finals. If you don't do that, they're talking about the grids inside the finals getting warped, and then the finals will malfunction and will draw too much current, even when they aren't being driven a whole lot, and then the five amp fuse on the B plus for the finals pops, and then the transformer inside, this big transformer here catches on fire and burns up the radio, so. It sounds like the fuse blows in this thing. You want to respect the fuse and not try and jump it. And put new finals in. When the finals get cooked because you abuse them, you want to put new finals in. All right, well, that's about it for my little rendition of the radio here. And I guess I could try doing that on, on 15 meters and see how that works out. There's 15 meters there. Here's 15 meters on this box here. Going to go to set mode and just try and get some reading out of it. Take the drive down. You know, I, I would sneak this plate up a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it matters with this radio. It's all kind of screwy. Okay, turn this on. A little bit of drive. Peak the sky, and I got nothing. That's no fun. A little more drive. And peak this. Got nothing. Yeah, I think, I think I goofed up 15 somehow. I think 15, this thing is kaput, as I recall now. No, it's not. <laughs> Didn't have enough drive. Okay, fine. Take a drive down. We'll peak this guy a little bit. Shut it down and wait 15 seconds. So I do have some uh, drive on 15. I guess the radio is not shot. Let's try a quick dip on this thing here. From from 14, it should go up to 21 by, if, you know, by about that much, it should dip. Let's see if it obeys that, I, but it won't. But anyway, you can go to power output here. Let's go back to current. Try and dip it. No, it doesn't care. It really could care less. There's some, wow, that's crazy. So 
For 15, I go way down here, and then it sort of has power coming out, which is it a spur? Is this thing working right? I, this, this seems nuts, but anyway. That's where the juice is. Getting power over here. Not too much current either. I'm getting like it's saying, I'm getting 50 watts. Is it 50 watts of crud or is it 50 watts of something that's, that's, that's real? All right, drive. Weird. The loading on this thing. Whoa. Okay, that's not 50 watts. I was in the set mode here. That's not 50 watts at all. Let's at least get the SWR down here on 15 to some reasonable level. There we go. Okay. Let it rest a bit. Now we'll see what this thing tunes up like. Let the finals cool down from smoking away there. All right, try a quick tune here. Yeah, there's a little bit of power, not much. And it's really broad, so I'm, I'm thinking it's putting crap out. I don't know. Of course, loading this thing's knacked too. 15, give it less load, try that. This thing is very experimental. Okay, there's a dip right there and some power. So when I take the load down, it, of course it's saying it's <laughs> over here. What about going to 15 area? No, no, oh, there it goes. So that's somewhat reasonable. It's, it's, it's around the 21. All right, so a little less loading. Letting it rest. Let's try it out now. A little more load. Doesn't want load, it wants less. All right, so what if I drive it real hard now? Crank that up. Let it rest a minute. Let's see what I get on 15 here. Well, 100 watts, bam, right up. Can I get 200 watts on 15 and be greedy? Let's try the drive. Now it's peaked. So to get 200 watts out, I gotta muck with this thing really carefully. Let's try a little more load, a hair, a hair more. And, whoa, 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 whoa. See how, see how finicky this thing is. I turned the load a hair, a hair and I got 25 more watts out. So let me turn it one more hair. And hit it. 150 watts. Yeah, this thing is really, really finicky to tune. It's really a finicky little monster. Okay, and you don't want to overdrive it, so just back the drive off. There we are. Okay, can I get, that's 150. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Can I get 200 on this band? Little more loading, just a touch more. That's a solid 150 there. Whoa, there's that solid 150. And it's got some plate current going on. So I, I, I think I should be happy with 150 on watts. That's all it's rated for, really. Let's let's give it a touch more load here. That's all I'm gonna do. Let it rest. Yeah, it's working like a champ. I'm, I'm happy with this thing now. And it's almost calibrated too. Yeah, that's a solid 150 watts. I don't think it's gonna improve over that. And well, actually I stress it out, but 150 watts on uh, 15 meters is fine with me. All right, and again, I'll show you the, well, the 150 here. 150 watts, bottom scale. Oh, it's close. 120 watts on that little run. Let's see if I can fix that. 
Oh, there we go. It's about 150 almost. Okay, it's 130. <laughs> the meter isn't bouncing it. What if I back off the loading a little bit? Try it now. That decreases the power. A little more load. That's about 150 there, just about 140. Let's get a little more load here. That's the 150 right there. All right, I'm happy with it. I don't like running it that hard anyway, but it's a new radio to me and I gotta get to know this baby how to run it. Thanks for watching, have a great day.